This article just came out February 2024, and I think it is one of the most significant scientific releases and articles that has come out in decades. We're talking about extremophiles, plasmoids, plasma entities that develop and exhibit forms of consciousness that could be responsible for a lot of the UFO and UAP phenomena. This has so many different authors, so much scientific evidence to back it up that I think this is going to be one of the most compelling articles and a lot of videos are gonna be coming out about this. It even goes into detail about a lot of the classic UAP sightings, the hot spots and locations where these things exist and all of the data to back it up. So these plasmoids or plasma phenomena are forming in the magnetosphere, magnetosphere of the earth. So out in the atmosphere of the earth, as the solar radiations come and blast the earth, it creates these solar winds and this plasma sphere and these radiation belts form. And out of this, these dust particles are able to rotate into geometric shapes and then they basically pop out into the thermosphere, they grow in size, they replicate, and they even exhibit structures and behavior that is like they are conscious. They are flying around, they're hunting each other, they're coming into Earth's atmosphere, they might be responsible for the Foo Fighter sightings going all the way back to World War II, and even the sightings out of the space shuttles and the International Space Station when they see these weird plasma objects and flying saucers that appear to be shape-shifting, metallic or glowing balls of light in the sky. They even seem to mimic other aircraft and form into triangular formations, spherical shapes, and they can be up to a kilometer in size. Basically, a small, tiny dust particle forms into a crystal and then it spirals and vibrates in the magnetosphere and the plasmosphere of the Earth, and then it forms into a form of consciousness and it pops out like a fourth state of matter and is a non-biological form of life. You've got to go read this article. I think it totally explains a lot of the UFO and UAP sightings, although the article itself, even though it has tons and tons of data, it also admits it does not account for all of the UFO and UAP sightings and that some of that seems to be a completely separate topic as far as crash recovered items and all of that. But these things are attracted to nuclear radiation, electromagnetic radiation. They go up into thunderclouds and move around. They zip around. They sometimes almost look like drones. They shape shift into different tubular shapes like a tic tac or a rod or cone, even triangular shapes or helix shapes. They can turn into a ball and uh, float around and they even exhibit uh, like they have some kind of plasma form of DNA or RNA. So these are atmospheric extremophiles, forms of life. Imagine our atmosphere and outer space is actually full of cellular activity and it is a different type of life. These are plasmoids, plasma forms, plasma entities. So it begs the question, can these things, if they can form into what look like shimmering flying saucers or metallic craft or shapes of light, can they actually come down onto earth and appear in different shapes? Can they shape shift into different entities or beings of light and have they appeared to other people like at Skinwalker Ranch or like it even says in the article, Hestelin, Norway, where they went and did Project Blue Book. I just came back from Hestelin, Norway, and we filmed one of these things come down out of the sky and even move around down on the ground with a night vision camera. Go check out this article, Extraterrestrial Life, these uh, plasmoid, plasma entities, this is a real thing. This is part of disclosure. The list of scientists on this is huge. You've got to go check it out. I think this is a big part of the puzzle.